Tonight, we have the opportunity to honor the district's 99% award recipients. This is a tradition that began 14 years ago, an award that is established by our Board of Education as they seek to recognize middle school and high school students who put forth their best effort. They go to class every day. They work hard in the classroom. They represent their school and our community with class, with integrity, with character, in and out of our schools. They are doing what we want all of our students to do, and we are very proud of them this evening as we get to present the Spring 99% Awards. Many times these students go overlooked, but not tonight. This is your night, and we're excited to hear your story. I am very pleased to introduce this evening our president of our school board, Ms. Betty Arnold. Congratulations. Your teachers and principals have selected you to receive the board's 99% award. They selected you because, number one, you do your best in school. Number two, you treat others with respect. And number three, you serve as a role model for your fellow students. We know that some of you have struggled in your journey, but by overcoming those obstacles, you have become champions. Maya Angelou once said, and it is one of my favorite quotes, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so that you can know who you are, what you can rise from, and how you still can come out of it. You have all proven that you have these skills and the determination to be, a, be successful in school and in life. You should be proud of yourselves. And I also want to take the opportunity to recognize those here tonight who have supported our 99% honorees in their educational journeys. The grandparents, the parents, the aunts and uncles, the siblings, the neighbors. Would you all please stand? You all have played an important role in the success of these young scholars, and you have every reason to be proud. I also want to take the opportunity to thank the principals, teachers, and counselors who so thoughtfully selected the students who are here tonight. We look forward to hearing about each and every one of these outstanding honorees. I also want to thank the Butler County College for sponsoring this year's 99% Awards program. And I'd like to introduce Monica Zavalia, Admission Counselor. Monica? Thank you for your partnership as we honor these, these students. Thank you. Boy, this is an experience. I'm in District 6. I've gone last every single time I've done this. So this is, I get to lead this time. It's something new for me. This is Valeria Carzales. She is from Horseman. She's an eighth grader. She's a representative. Um, being a horseman, I get a unique privilege. We're a really tiny school. We have a small population. And I've had this girl in sixth grade math. I've had this girl in seventh grade math. I've had this girl in seventh grade basketball. I've had her in eighth grade basketball and eighth grade track. I've got to know this young lady very well, and she's very, very deserving of this award. Um, last year as a seventh grader, she was sitting in my class, and I got a note from her. And as one of those notes, as a teacher, you read it, and you think, man, this is why I teach every day. It was one of those very sweet notes. It was one of those things that she just, from the heart, told me how she thought and what she's doing. It was one of those just very sweet things that I always have appreciated, even though I didn't tell now, I'd never told her that. So um, here's some things that her teachers have said about her. Various honesty, hard work, and amazing accomplishments are the reason why she's standing here for the 99% award today. When it comes to honesty, she never tries to get away with things. 
There's one time she lost her ID, she couldn't find it. She had a proctor's ID. She could have just acted like that was her ID and just went about her day, but she didn't do that. She went ahead, she went and got a bot before first hour, before first hour, she got to class on time, she had everything taken care of and didn't try to get away with anything. Uh, to illustrate her hard work, she's always working hard. She never complains. It doesn't matter if she's in class, it doesn't matter if she's in sports, it doesn't matter what she's doing, she doesn't complain about what she's doing. An example of that is Last week we had a track meet. I said, Valeria, go run a mile for me. I need my three points. So she went out and ran the mile, very politely came back and said, Mr. Cameron, I don't want to run a mile again. And so, but she went and read the mile first before she told me she didn't want to run it. Um, from amazing accomplishments, again, amazing accomplishments come through in the classroom. She scores very high in the classroom. Um, her hard work in the classroom has got her accepted into the North High Biomed program. And so she'll be one of the horseman representatives in the North High Bi Biomed program. So, between her honesty, her hard work, and her accomplishments, Valeria Carrizales is our 99% winner. Congratulations. Good evening. I am Sydney Hankins, and I teach sixth grade AVID and math at Marshall Middle School. It's my joy to present Cecilia Tinoco Silva, who is Marshall's 99% award recipient. Cecilia is an extremely hard worker. She consistently impresses me with everything that she does. She is always prepared, she's very organized, she follows directions, and she's reliable. She's very respectful and responsible, super polite. She has a great attitude, and she's always positive, and she has the best smile. Um, she's friendly, kind, and compassionate to all students. She often goes above and beyond. She spends many uh, recesses in my room during lunch, either just staying on top of her work or helping others. She's determined to succeed, and she is an excellent student and an even better person. And I have had the pleasure of having her in my classroom this year. I am excited for Cecilia's future, and we are very proud of her at Marshall Middle School. Good evening, I'm Clarissa Prater, and I would like to introduce to you our 99% award winner, Araceli Navarrete. Araceli is a sixth grader at Pleasant Valley. She's been in my class this year, and of course, first year since she's a sixth grader with us. She is a delight to have in class. She's one of the most reliable and dedicated students in the school, and she always has this beautiful smile to greet everyone. In fact, this afternoon I was telling one of the other teachers who does not have Araceli that I was going to present the 99% award, and she says, oh, who's getting it? And I said, it's Araceli. I said, she's the one that has the beautiful smile. And she goes, oh, she speaks to me every day. And she said, it is a gorgeous smile. Araceli does such a great job in class. She is always prepared. She always has her assignments completed, and she's always willing to work with anyone or to help in any way. She volunteers, she's prompt, she's just a great student. Araceli has been her fourth hour line leader out to recess the entire year, and she is such a dependable girl to do this. She works so hard and is genuinely polite and kind to everyone. Our team, our sixth grade team, could not think of a better candidate than Araceli. Congratulations, Araceli. Good evening. My name is Angie Park. I teach Heights at Math. Allow me to introduce Angela Lojano. Let me share with you what I wrote to the 99% committee back on February 29th. I would nominate Angela Lojano. She was in a tiered Algebra 1 course last year and also in a tiered geometry class this year. She has improved her math skills to such a degree that I don't feel she needs the extra intervention class anymore. She is very busy at home helping her parents take care of multiple siblings, but still manages to get her homework done. She works very hard in class and in geometry lab and is a calm and helpful presence in one of my less focused classes. She is highly verbal and asks questions anytime she does not understand something and works to help other students in her group to understand the concepts when they are struggling. 
I always know I can stroke group struggling students with Angela, and she will take them under her wing and help them do their best. She also helps students with behavioral issues accept redirection and do better. She's like having another much younger teacher in the classroom helping out. I wish I had a classroom full of Angela's to teach to. She's a great kid and deserves some solid recognition. In addition to what I wrote about Angela back on February 29th, I would additionally add that the very day I wrote her nomination, unbeknownst to her, she asked about being a student coach the next year because she thought it would be fun to help others in geometry next year. She truly exemplifies a student that gives her all and cares about others in her peer group being successful as well. Thank you, Angela. Good evening. My name is Brooke Sorensen, and I teach algebra and geometry here at North High. Um, and it is my absolute honor to present Eliza Robles for this award. Uh, when we got the email to nominate a student, I didn't even have to think twice before I thought of Eliza. She is an exceptional young lady and a wonderful student to have. Um, just to speak to the dedication that she has to her education, uh, we had an email conversation about a month ago about a project we were doing, and Eliza and I emailed back and forth about 10 times in five minutes um, until she had the correct answer. And if that doesn't say dedication, then I don't know what does. Um, she's also a very compassionate person. Um, while on bereavement for my grandmother passing earlier this semester, um, Eliza had emailed me to express her condolences and she expressed that her class missed me and they were really ready for me to come back to work. So I feel like that sort of compassion coming from a high school freshman speaks volumes as to who Eliza is as a person. I am so proud and so honored to be her teacher and to have known her. Um, and you are going to do great things in your time at North High. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Cheryl Witt and I'm the Law Department Chair at Northeast Magnet and I get the pleasure of introducing our 99% award winner, Ms. Jacqueline Perez. Jackie is a senior in the Law Magnet who aspires to become an attorney practicing immigration law. She is an honor student who continually pushes herself to, ex to excel despite the obstacles that might arise. Jackie's freshman introduction to law teachers says this about her. I think that Jackie is a unique student who handles adversity with a great deal of grace. She never seems to bow down to peer pressure or the idea that it is acceptable to be just mediocre. Additionally, Jackie's gifted facilitator said this about her. Jackie is an example of someone who has a dream and is willing to pursue it against all odds. She has overcome personal adversity and has demonstrated an intellect and work ethic that would distinguish her among any group of peers. Her determination and passion for her culture, her family, and her future carry her proudly and progressively on toward her goal of college and a legal career. She is talented and tenacious a combination that will take her far in life. Finally, her senior English teacher stated, Jackie challenges herself through rigorous courses that include AP U.S. History, Honors English III, and AP Lit and Composition. Furthermore, Jackie demonstrates leadership outside the classroom as evidenced by her devotion to numerous non-academic activities. For example, Jackie is a devoted teacher assistant and a member of multiple extracurricular clubs. Moreover, Jackie is a dedicated and disciplined student who is always in attendance and always seeking to improve. It is Jackie's desire to grow and develop 
as a student and as a person that makes her such a special young woman. Jackie is a Kansas Honors Scholar, participates in the Grow Your Own Lawyer program sponsored by the Wichita Bar Association, is an active member of the Northeast Magnet National Honor Society, Future Educators Club, and the Animal Club, as well as plays varsity soccer for her base school, Wichita South High School. Additionally, Jackie is involved with her church youth group and dances with Ballet Folklorico. George Bernard Shaw said, the people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want, and if they can't find them, make them. I believe this quote definitely reflects the attitude and devotion that Jackie displays in all aspects of her life. She is not afraid to stand alone and defend her beliefs, nor is she afraid of hard work. We are so honored to have you as a student and wish you much success in your political science studies at the University of San Francisco. Congratulations, Jackie. Hello, I'm Allison Parnicott, seventh grade social studies teacher from Stuckey Middle School, and we've chosen to honor, in absentia, uh, Sinai Hayes, seventh grader. So just picture a really sweet, bubbly girl about yay high standing right here. Um, so uh, we feel that Sinai is more than deserving of this award for several reasons. Sinai always puts forth her best efforts in classwork. She isn't a student who rushes through something to be done. Rather, she takes her time and only turns in work that has been completed to the best of her abilities. Sinai's hard work in the classroom is evident through her status as an honor roll student so far the entire school year. Not only does Sinai excel academically, but she also excels artistically. She is a brilliant um, sketch artist and musician. Uh, her talents are easily visible in her class projects. She was also chosen to participate in All City Band, where she played the bass clarinet. Um, and as if her academic and artistic abilities weren't enough, Sinai is a kind and caring person. She can be seen in the hallways and classrooms, showing respect for her fellow students at all times. She does not hesitate to help out, whether it's explaining to a new student our classroom procedures or volunteering to work with anyone demonstrating need. For that and many more reasons. Sinai Hayes. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Shirley Hampton, and I teach eighth grade social studies at Brooks. It brings me great honor to introduce our award winner tonight, Nathaniel Blaine. Nathaniel is motivated to learn about his culture as well as cultures of others. He learns through books, through the internet, through movies, academic discussions, Nathaniel says that he loves to learn because he knows that learning is the key to becoming successful and he wants to graduate and have an excellent life someday. Nathaniel is kind to all people regardless of their age, fellow students, adults alike. I've seen him offer to carry books for whether it's an adult or another student in the hallway. I've seen him pick up books for someone that has dropped their books along the way. He listens to people's conversations. And Nathaniel refrains from being judgmental. He listens to what they have to say. He practices excellent attendance in school. When he's in class, he works very hard and he gives 100% of his effort on any assignment given on every day. Some days we may have a shortened activity schedule and you know other students feel like, oh, we're gonna come in and just you know, not do much with the lesson plan. But that's not Nathaniel's thinking. Nathaniel's gonna give 100%, whether it's 15 minutes of a lesson or the full 45 minutes of the lesson. He works with due diligence. He keeps his binder very organized because he realizes that that's going to help him not forget anything that he needs for his classes that day. He's, he wants to be prepared. Nathaniel loves to talk 
about things that are controversial in class discussions. He asks questions. He will listen to both sides of an argument. He realizes that listening is key, that you have to be a good listener to learn how to resolve problems effectively. He knows that you have to be a part of the team. A team member doesn't say it's about I. Uh, he says, a team member says it's about all of us working together. And so as a member, he shows the highest respect for the minority opinion as well as the majority opinion. He knows that there is no I in team. Finally, Nathaniel is very passionate and he sets goals. He sets goals, he's inspired to achieve those goals on a personal level, on an academic level, on a social level, and someday he'll achieve those goals financially. If I could take this talk and summarize it into just four words, I would say Nathaniel is dependable, he is diligent, he's respectful, he is committed. Hi, my name is Patrick Jackson I'm from Gordon Parks Academy. I'm one of the physical education teachers, and I am very proud to announce our award recipient, Nathaniel Young. Um, we felt Nathaniel was most deserving of this award because of his positive, success-seeking behavior and attitudes he displays at Gordon Parks Academy. Nathaniel sticks out amongst our students for his academic success, the kindness and respect he shows to others, and focus on doing what is right. Rarely do we see him without a smile on his face as he takes a positive outlook on all aspects at Gordon Parks Academy. If there is one student at this time who I truly believe emulates our mascot, the Trailblazer, it's Nathaniel Young, and I'm very proud to announce him as our 99% award recipient. Good evening. I'm Brenda Odgers, and it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Wichita High School East uh, recipient, Junior Jeremy Crouch. I am JRP's IEP case manager. He came to Wichita about three years ago. He was very nervous about starting in a school as large as Wichita East. He was a little apprehensive. Academics had never been his strength, but since coming to East, Jeremy has absolutely flourished. Some of his teachers made some really outstanding comments I'd love to share with you. Um, Jeremy was nominated by his chemistry teacher, Beth Rorick, who's also here this evening. She said even though he is a student on an IEP, he always has the highest grade in his CWC chem class. I think that's outstanding. In math, Jeremy is the kind of student his teacher wishes she was. He's flexible in his thinking about things, realizing that how he does them might not always be right. He seeks out help when he's confused. He listens completely before making a judgment about the information he's received. He has humor. He's easygoing. All the students and the adults in the room enjoy him. And last but not least, his English teacher. She's had him as a freshman and again this year as a junior. He has grown into an amazing young man, she says. He's curious, adventurous, takes on any challenge with a can-do attitude. He is fearless. He sees the world differently. His writing is creative, complex, thoughtful in ways that she's never experienced. His ideas and his ability to understand complex situations transcends his age. He is kind. She is so proud of Jeremy, and she can't wait to see what he does in his next phase of life. We are very, very proud to have Jeremy as an East High Ace. I'm as short as my students, sorry. Um, I'm Kara Schnacki. I teach sixth grade science at Krista McAuliffe Academy, and this is Batilda T Dith. I am so proud to announce her as our 99% award winner. Um, she's a very sweet young lady. 
She consistently gives 100% in everything that she does. She's a leader among her peers, and she's always willing to help. I see her helping in not only my classroom, but in the hallways, at lunch, at recess, everywhere she can. Her teachers appreciate all of Matilda's hard work, and we are absolutely as proud as we can be to have her in our classes, and we are so excited to see what she can do in the future. If Matilda comes across a task that's challenging, she gives it her all, and she does everything she can to make sure that she's turning in the best work. She never gives up, and CMA is proud to announce her as our 99% award winner. Good evening. My name is Katie Richardson, and I teach language arts in Avid at Coleman. Um, and I have the pleasure of introducing Mia Bennett to you tonight. The sixth grade team at Coleman has selected Mia for many reasons. One of those is she comes to class prepared every single day. She's also very quick to ask her teachers how their days are going, which is pretty rare for a student. And it's almost every day she's asking this teacher as he or she walks into the room, How's your day going? Which is pretty awesome. Um, she also displays the same respect um, for her peers that she works with as well. Mia enjoys being challenged, and she works hard on the high quality of work that she turns in. Her upbeat, positive nature brightens up the mood of every room she is in, and she is always willing to go above and beyond to help others. She is also great at asking questions about her learning in an effort to deepen her content knowledge. Um, she is a joy to have in class, and Coleman is very fortunate to have such a prepared, respectful, honest, determined, and excellent student. Without a doubt, Mia displays all that makes Coleman the pride of the East Side. Congratulations, Mia. Uh, good evening. Um, my name is Andrea West, and I'm from Robinson Middle School. Um, Deontay is not able to be here this evening, so I'd just like to share a little bit about him with you guys. Uh, Deontay is an extremely hard worker with an impeccable worth ethic. Deontay has shown tremendous growth over the course of this school year as he has jumped from an average performing student to one of a more advanced student. Deontay <laughs> never is never satisfied with less than perfection on his classwork. He diligently works to correct and learn from every mistake he encounters on his work. When he does not understand a math concept, he gives his best efforts by using problem-solving skills he knows to try. Deontay is a friendly, respectable, and compassionate young man. He attends school every day determined to give his absolute best while never letting the frustration of new ideas, systems, and ways of learning deter him from being his best. Deontay is a student of strong character and a stabilizing influence to those around him. Thank you. Good evening. At Black Bear Bozen Academy, we are fortunate enough to work with some amazing students. We have the pleasure of helping them find their motivation and love for learning. One of our amazing students is Preston Masters. Preston came to us at the beginning of his seventh grade year. At that time, his priorities were sleep and football. Yes, that's it. Just sleep and football, nothing else. Today, Preston is a different young man. Just a few of the reasons he has proven to be a 99% award recipient are the fact that he mentors our 6th and 7th graders in the program. There are two that I could think of right off the top of my head if they're having a bad day or if something's happened. They don't want to talk to a teacher, they want to talk to Preston. And they know which classroom he's in and they'll find him. So that's, that's a pretty big deal when 6th and 7th grade students will look up to an 8th grade student in that way and allow him to help them calm down and figure out what needs to happen next. Um, he maintains high marks, which is a change from before. He helps us with techie items when us teachers don't know what it is to take care of. Preston just jumps in and does it and says, don't worry, I'll do it next time too. So we still don't know how to do it. 
He's always willing to help in any way. And again, a huge change from the past. He is at school every day, ready to work, ready to take care of business and do what he needs to do. Preston, it is for these reasons we would like to award you with the 99% award. We know you, you will go on to do amazing things in your future. Just remember us little people back in middle school, we love you. Hello, my name is Tina Gonzalez and I teach sixth grade science at Curtis Middle School. We have a saying in Curtis, we like to keep it real. Respect others and yourself, expectations kept high, achievements in academics and behavior, and learning is a lifelong process. This is Tanasia Taylor. She is keeping it real at Curtis. First day I met Tanasia, she told me, Miss Gonzalez, I'm going to be a doctor. So I went, okay, what kind? She goes, oh, that's easy, cardiologist. It's like, ever since then, she has been determined and moves me every day. She glows, put their smile, I'm sorry, I did it, didn't I? I said I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> she's a total joy in our classroom. She's the first one to volunteer answers and she's also the first one to lend out a helping hand. She also, not afraid to speak her mind, let me tell you. And she works her heart out in excellence. So whenever she comes in my room and she's had a bad day, I would say, Dr. Taylor, I need your assistance. And then I see the smile. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, Tanasia Taylor, Curtis Middle School. Good evening. My name is Carrie Herpelsheimer, and I'm proud to be here um, from Jardine. The sixth grade team would like to congratulate Larissa Trejo for representing Jardine at this 99% award ceremony. Larissa is a model student. She strives to do her best and consistently helps others while encouraging them to excel. Not only does Larissa support her peers, she is always willing to help her teachers as well. Larissa truly owns her education. She actively participates in classroom activities and asks clarifying questions when needed. We are lucky to have her as part of our sixth grade class and a part of Jardine. Larissa Trejo. Good evening, I am Kristen Koval. I'm a sixth grade math teacher at Mead Middle School, and um, this is Debrisia. We're both terrifyingly nervous. <laughs> uh, Debrisia is a model student at Mead Middle School. She has received straight A's for every single class and every single marking quarter this year. This is a result of not only her academic level, but most importantly, her strong work ethic and her desire to be her best all the time. She's a student that respectfully advocates for herself and demonstrates to others how to do the same. Debrisia is well liked by all of her peers and is a true role model for other students. She not only exceeds classroom expectations, but shows others and helps struggling students to do the same. Everybody at Mead Middle School loves Debrisia. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Christy Lehrman. I'm a counselor at Southeast High School. We have Paige Gray with us. She's a very dedicated student who pushes herself to take classes of the highest rigor, even when the master schedule doesn't agree. She is actively involved in most school activities and a senior leader we count on as part of LAC. She is a joy to be around in her steady, easygoing, yet determined way. She will continue to do great things at college and beyond, and she leaves huge shoes to fill for the class of 2017. Paige Gray.
Hello, uh, my name is Andrew Schulte. Um, the students call me Mr. Schulte, however. Um, I am a sixth grade math teacher at Alice Middle School, and this is Oscar Garcia. Um, it's my honor to present Oscar with the 99% award from Allison. Um, the 99% award is quite fitting for Oscar. Um, and he can tell you if this is true or not, but about 99% of the time he's focused on my riveting lessons. Uh, and about 1% of the time he's thinking about soccer. Would that be? Yeah. <laughs> um, all jokes aside, Oscar is the ideal student. Um, he's a student that a teacher wants in their classroom. Um, he is respectful. He is kind. He is hardworking. He is able to take criticism. Um, and he is great, a great peer. Um, and it's my first year teaching, and it's his first year at Allison. Um, and it's been my privilege as a first year teacher to have Oscar. It's made, been great. Um, and we are glad at Allison to present Oscar with the 99% award. Thank you. My name is Amber Kelly, and it's my pleasure to give Autumn the 99% award. Autumn is the type of student that most teachers dream of having in their classes. Smart, kind, creative, generous, determined, and emotionally mature beyond her years. On the rare occasion when she struggles with new materials, she doesn't give up, but rather she refuses to stop trying until she feels she's overcome the hurdle that has slowed her down. She is always very cheerful, polite, and respectful to her peers and staff members alike. Autumn will calmly help peers to understand concepts that they struggle with, which makes her a great teacher as well. Everyone who comes in contact with Autumn is always extremely impressed with everything that makes her special. It is our honor at Hamilton to present her with the 99% award. I'm kind of short, so I have to move this. Uh, my name is Emily Ingram, and I teach eighth grade math at Truesdale Middle School. And this is German. And German is a responsible, mature, intelligent young man who consistently does the right thing and leads his peers to do the same. He comes to school on time, prepared, and ready to learn every day, even though he has math first hour. It's incredible. German also gives his best effort in all classes by participating, asking questions, and helping other students who may be struggling. He takes responsibility for his own learning by monitoring his grades and staying on top of his assignments. Even at the after school program, he uses his academic time responsibly to finish his homework and sets an example for his soccer teammates to do the same. He's an excellent athlete and a leader on the soccer field. Always polite, soft-spoken, and kind, German is an amazing asset to our school. Congratulations. Good evening, I'm Kira Leedy, principal at South High. And unfortunately, our 99% award winner is Stacia Boatner, and she's unable to be here because her family is experiencing the flu bug. So I assured mom this morning that we would be celebrating with the family uh, when everybody's healthy. So just to tell you a little bit about this young lady, and I'm sad you don't get to, to meet her because she is just wonderful, delightful, polite, humble, and she is one of our seniors that you probably wouldn't even catch her in the hallway. She's that under the radar. She's worked hard. She is a twin, but she got separated academically, kind of struggled early on in middle school, and so they held her back a little bit. But she didn't let that discourage her. She's accepted that as a challenge. She's worked hard academically. She's, she's that kind of kid that when I ta was talking to her um, last week, I said, what, what's the greatest thing at South High? What, what has really been there for you? And she said, you know, that field trip to the art museum really showed me and brought art to life. When I thought I was going to be an accountant or go into event planning in the business world, I'm really looking at art because it just showed me so many possibilities. So she's expanding and learning every day. 
and that's exciting to see, even though she's a senior and about ready to walk across the stage. So we wish her well, we wish her healthy recovery, and uh, Stacia Boatner, South High School. Hello, I'm Katie Henning from Wichita High School West. I'm a culinary arts and avid elective teacher. Um, tonight I have Haley Garcia with me. She's a junior at West um, and she is uh, focusing on the Culinary Arts Academy. Uh, this is a very kind young lady. I nominated her when Mr. Sad sent us an email. Uh, it was hard to decide because we have so many great kids, but I thought who really stands out that sometimes maybe doesn't get acknowledged all the time. Um, but I have some nice words here from some of her other teachers. Miss Wright, her art teacher, says, Haley is a tremendously gracious student who is quick to be helpful. She is consistently respectful and shows great humility with regard to the way she addresses both peers and faculty. She is always mindful of her demeanor and never negative. Mr. Matson, her science teacher, says, Haley is always working and helping others. She takes care of business and works well with her peers. When we were dissecting sharks, she was always ready. Surgical mask, gloves, and a smile from ear to ear under the mask. Kudos to Haley, she deserves this award. Mr. Thompson, her academy time teacher, says, you talk about one of the sweetest kids and someone who tries her hardest and hates to fail. She is a very caring person, always works on homework during academy time. You talk about a hardworking kid. I wish she would take my business courses. Mr. Wonger, her math teacher, comments, she is a hard worker and very conscientious. She is willing to go the extra mile to accomplish her goals. It is with great pleasure that we recognize Haley's discipline, determination, and commitment tonight with the 99% award. I'm Heidi Botkin. I'm a sixth grade language arts teacher from Hadley, and I'd like to introduce Leticia Martinez. Um, she is a model student. Her positive attitude and unassuming nature are inviting and welcoming. She comes to class every day with a smile on her face, and we love to see that. She always does her best on everything, and even when it's hard for her, she never gives up. She displays excellence in behavior expectations. She's polite and respectful to everyone around her, and she's everyone's friend. She collaborates with other students, helping them, and by her gentle but powerful impact and lead, she does things that she doesn't even recognize, and the students just follow along. She's very unaware of the positive impact she creates just by being herself. She is a joy to have in class, and we are very proud to have her as a Hadley student. Leticia Martinez. Good evening. My name is Jennifer Lohman, and I'm a sixth grade social studies teacher at Mayberry Cultural and Fine Arts Magnet Middle School. I'm honored to present to you Mayberry's 99% award winner, Jamale Rendon. Jamale is one of those students whose character stands out in excellence, both inside and outside the classroom. And she is a positive example for other students to model. Jamale enters the classroom each day with a bright smile and a willing attitude to give learning her all. She is highly motivated to put forth her best effort, even when the content is difficult and challenging. And she is fiercely committed to being the best that she can be, as well as an outstanding role model for other Mayberry students. Again, it is with honor that I present to you Mayberry Middle School's 99% award winner, Jamale Rendon. Good evening, I'm Kim Dillinger, sixth grade social studies teacher over at Wilbur Middle School. When asked to nominate a student from our team, Yitzhak was the first student that came to the minds of all of the members of our team. We chose to move Yitzhak into all honors classes mid-year, where he has continued to grow throughout the year, and we are excited to see the great things that he will be doing in the future. Yitzhak is a wonderful young man, and as a humble leader, he brings out the best in others. He works very hard in class, is diligent in his work, 
and always makes the most of his educational day. He plans ahead for upcoming absences and is responsible when it comes to completing the work when absent. When it comes to collaboration, he works with his teammates, teammates to assure their academic success. Yitzhak is very respectful to the students and staff in the building and is a young man that other students should look to as a role model. Wilbur Middle School is proud to announce their 99% award winner, Yitzhak Tristan. My name is Ann Burgett, and I'm an AVID and language arts teacher at Northwest High School. Amaya is in my AVID class. She comes to class every day with a smile on her face. Amaya is a brave young lady. This year, she lost her second kidney and has to be on dialysis every day. This situation would bring anyone down, but not Amaya. She comes to school even when she doesn't feel good. She keeps her grades up even when it's hard to concentrate. She helps with all of our service projects, even when she isn't feeling good. Even though she had to give up, give up playing softball, a game that she loves, she still keeps going. But does she give up? No. She keeps working hard, has a smile on her face, and does the best that she can. Amaya has a long road ahead, but that long road includes graduating from Northwest and going to college. If anyone can be successful, I know Amaya is that person. I think that Amaya is very deserving of the 99% award. I am very privileged to have Amaya in my class and to be a part of her life. Good evening. I'm Joyce Von Ehrenkirk, Principal at Chisholm Life Skills Center, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to introduce to you Anieli Avila Trejo. One of Anna's teachers, Sharon Gillum, writes, I consider myself extremely fortunate to have been a part of Anieli's education at Chisholm Life Skills Center. Anna has blossomed from a quiet young lady who is unsure about her abilities into a confident, hardworking adult. There has never been any doubt in my mind that Anna's true potential always existed just under the surface. I saw that potential begin to take root and grow her first two years at Chisholm. Anna stepped into a leadership role with another student who was struggling to find her classes and getting to the bus. Anna offered to help and a friendship mentorship was built. This helping of peers continued to happen this year even though Anna is only in our building about 20 minutes a day. She is again connected with a peer who often struggles getting to her homeroom at the end of the day. In fact, the student can become quite agitated when she doesn't see Anna waiting on the hallway bench at the end of the day. I mentioned that Anna is only in our building about 20 minutes a day, and that's because she has progressed from working volunteer and paid jobs at Chisholm to working full-time internships as she participates in our school's project search program at Via Christi St. Francis. Her project search teacher, Tom Zambecki, tells us that Anna is gifted in her work ethic, interpersonal relationships, work attitude, and desire to become employed. Anna has built strong relationships with coworkers, managers, and department heads at Via Christi St. Francis. She has steadily worked toward her goal of being a hostess in a restaurant. She has grown into a confident young woman who exhibits outstanding qualities any employer would desire to have in an employee. Chisholm is proud to recognize Anieli Avila Trejo. Good evening. My name is Laura Kilgore, and I'm a mathematics teacher at Learning Squared eSchool. And it is my privilege to introduce to you our 99% award winner, Veronica Cueva. I think Veronica may be the hardest working student I have ever had. As a teacher, it warms my heart to have a student that works and studies to learn 
and not just to get finished or to earn a particular grade. English is not Veronica's primary language. In fact, she speaks four languages, French, Spanish, Russian, and English. Our curriculum requires a great deal of reading as it's an online program, and so it's an independent reading in order to master the material. And so Veronica has to put forth an extra effort in order to read all that material in English and comprehend it. It's not unusual for, for Veronica to spend 100 hours per class just studying in order to master the material. And Veronica is not satisfied until she has learned everything there is to learn in each lesson for every subject. She's, she's not, um, you know, only math or only science. She learns all of her subjects thoroughly. In addition to Veronica's excellent scholastic effort, she is kind and helpful. Veronica um, is a quiet student, but she's still willing to help other students when needed and she participates in our extracurricular activities. She's always respectful of teachers. She's respectful of the other students at school. She's, I say just, a 10th grader, but she's very mature, one of the most mature students that I have and have had, and she purposefully chooses the best way to spend her time. Veronica is very interesting um, to be around. I, I'm grinning because when Veronica visits our school library, she um, doesn't come out with the novels or the mysteries, but she's picking out um, nonfiction books that interest her, and then she'll share uh, about what she's studying, and, and just her excitement is um, a joy to be around. It's, she's a pleasure to have in the classroom. I'm excited to see what the future holds for her, and I am very pleased to present our 99% award winner, Veronica Cueva. Good evening, I'm Lori Schoonover, counselor at Metro Boulevard, and this is Ariana Graves. She's a good example of character to the others in school. Integrity comes to mind because she does what is right. Tenacity comes to mind because she doesn't give up and keeps on working until she gets it right. She's so organized and helpful, her English teacher, Shelley, said that she uses Ariana's feedback to change her instruction for others. She said that Ariana has really good ideas on how to help herself and others learn. Ariana has plans to pursue a career in radiology, helping others in the medical field. And these are just a few of the reasons why we have selected Ariana Graves for this award. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dave Shear, and I'm the career and technical education teacher at Metro Meridian. It is my honor to present Metro Meridian's 99% award winner, Leslie Lopez. Leslie started the year attending high school in Mexico before moving back to Wichita in December. Believe it or not, Leslie had trouble comprehending subject matter in the native language in Mexico because she had spent most of her school years attending Wichita Public Schools. When she returned to the area, she knew she wanted to finish early and decided to come to Meridian, and we are sure glad she did. Leslie's goal to graduate early has been the driving force throughout her time at Metro Meridian. She attends school daily and stays for extended school and takes advantage of every Saturday school opportunity. She is with us most afternoons until 5 p.m. And, and Saturday, she's the first one at the door when I'm ready to open up. Leslie's work ethic has been exemplary and she strives to perfect each lesson so she completes her classes with the highest of expectations. 
Without a doubt, Leslie will graduate in May, and it is all due to her hard work and her dedication. On a personal note, many teachers who stay late have taken the opportunity to get to know Leslie. We have discovered that she has a little, like she likes to partake in little pranks. On one occasion, it seems that Leslie took great delight in decorating a classroom with rolls and rolls and rolls of toilet paper at the end of a long day. Needless to say, it was a challenge to find my desk. <laughs> it is with great delight that I introduce Leslie Lopez as Metro Meridian's 99% award honoree. And uh, yesterday was a great day. Today's a great day because it's opening day. Uh, opening day yesterday, today, the Los Angeles Dodgers, my team, open up against the San Diego Padres. Yesterday, the world champion Kansas City Royals opened at home with a win over the dreaded New York Mets. And I like to talk about sports because I think that we can learn many lessons uh, from our athletes. And you think about the Royals and the season that they had last year and their uh, tenacity and their willingness to do the little things that add up to make a big difference. I think about our students this evening that we've honored and the many students in the Wichita Public Schools who put in the hard work, who do the right things, who don't always win that world championship but are always uh, rewarded because they're making progress. They are preparing to be successful today, tomorrow, and for the rest of their lives. And I think we learn that lesson through our activity program and through sports. And I think that uh, the challenge I have for each of our students and the challenge I would have for our athletes, for each of our students, and for our staff, is to do three things. As you go through and you have the opportunity to engage in your schoolwork, you have to do three things. You have to look three directions. You have to look back. Students, you have to look back at the lessons that you have learned uh, through your school years. And you have to look back and thank those teachers, to thank your parents for preparing you, for holding you accountable, for giving you opportunities that are there. And you have to look back and learn from those lessons that you've had so those good things you can continue to pursue. For those things that were maybe not as easy, you learn from them so you don't repeat that historic uh, mistake. But you look back. As you look back, I think you also have to look ahead. And you have to look ahead at those opportunities that are before you. Make no mistake, education will open doors for you in your life that will simply not be possible when you don't complete not just your high school education, but those opportunities that are possible as a result of doing well in school each and every day, doing well in the school each and every week, month, semester, and year. Every day counts, and we learn that through athletics. Baseball is not a short season. Yes, the Royals are 1-0. and They have 161 more games to play, hopefully a lot more than that as they proceed into the postseason to defend their world championship. But you have to look back. You have to look ahead. But you also have to look inside. And students, it's so important that you look inside. And you figure out what gets you excited about school. And you come to school with the passion and the desire to be the very best that you can be. When you look inside, you're never going to sell yourself short. You are an important part of the Wichita Public Schools. You're an important part of your family. We're proud of you for the work that you've done, but we know as you look back, you look ahead and you look inside, the best is yet to come. And I challenge you to challenge yourself to never ever settle for good enough, to never settle for, it's okay, I've done enough. Go for the best, be the best. Pursue like you've never pursued anything before. And then those opportunities are not just dreams on the horizon, they are your reality. Look back, look ahead, look inside, 
and you are going to be successful in what you do, uh, both in school now as well as in your life ahead. We are so proud of you for the work that you have done, students, and we look forward to hearing great things uh, about uh, what you accomplish in your careers. I would invite you to return home to do your homework after you come up and get a picture on stage with all of the other honorees. So students, if I can have you join me up at the front here, uh, we will take that picture and we thank you and congratulate you on a job well done. <laughs>